Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can go ahead and create multiple different vector points or coordinate points for your callouts to spawn at. A lot of people have been asking me recently um, to do multiple different vectors rather than just one location like we did in the last coding video. Um, I'm also happy to report this is coming out in the same week as the other one so hopefully it can be tuned together with what you learned from the last episode to help you out in this episode on how to get those coordinates and stuff. I'll go over it once more just in case, but we are going to start off by putting in the code that's going to randomly select the area of the coordinates. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so we have uh, one or two different uh, locations and you can add unlimited more as you want. Uh, you just change some values and I'll tell you exactly how to do that. But uh, what we have to do is we actually have to add the random thing back and we're just going to call it random and we're going to do new random. And um, this is going to allow us to select a random number. And in order to get this, we're going to do integer x equals random dot next. And then in here, we're going to put 1 and then 100 plus 1. And then we're just going to put the end bracket here. And then this means we are going to select some random number between 1 and 100 every single time this runs. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to do if x, which is the number, is less than or equal to, let's say, 40 we are going to do something. And then we're gonna do something which is else, else. Um, and if you, you can do else if, if you wanna do a third value. So else if uh, x is greater than or equal to 40, um, and x is less than and equal to, let's say 60, um, then we'll do something else. And then finally, if we can just put an else value at the end of here, um, and this just says, hey, if this is not one of these things, then we're going to do something else. But you can see that's not actually needed because we actually covered most of the things. But this, in this case, I'm just going to do else if x is greater than or equal to 60. Uh, we're going to do something else here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move our default value in here. Uh, because last video we went over our default value and that was new vector these coordinates but now we're just going to copy this here and but we're just going to leave out those coordinates so we're not going to put the coordinates in yet but we're just going to leave out the coordinates but put these in because we're going to actually enter those coordinates in here momentarily to have random locations so we're going to hop in game we're going to go and go ahead and run somewhere else so you can see we are in our main um intersection where we left off in the last video and what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, move down the block, um, ignore that weird uh, transition. So we're just going to move down the block here, um, just a little bit down the block. Ow, oh, that's fun. Um, and we're going to get the coordinates for down here on the block. So we're going to press F1, we're going to go down to world, and we're going to go down to locations, and we're going to show coordinates. So negative 274. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do find our int info at the top, negative 274 point. Let's get our other coordinate. 567, 567, F, comma. Then we're going to get our Y value, which is 272.508. So 272.508, F. Then we're going to do another comma and get our third value, which is 89.877, 89.877, F. There we go. So now we have a second location. So we're going to do the exact same thing again to get the third location. So we're just going to go ahead and go down the block here to our third callout location. Um, and we're going to do the exact same thing we just did. So down here is negative 552. So negative 552 point. And then we'll go back to the game and get the point. 532, 532, F comma. And we're going to get the other one, 232.701, 232.701, F, comma, and then our Z value, which is 82.5242. So 82.5242, F. There we go. So we have successfully added all of our random three callout locations. Um, obviously, you can add more by just changing these values to different numbers. So that you can change this to 20, make this 30, etc., etc., depending on what you want your callouts to be and how many you want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and build this, and I'm going to go ahead and throw it on our server, and we can test it out. All right, so we have gotten back in game. It took me a minute to fix some problems with my web server anyway. Uh, we're back in game, and I'm just going to click mugging test, so you can see yes if I accept that. Um, obviously, if I was in a car, it would tell me where to go. 
Uh, I don't want a bicycle. I want an actual police car would be very useful. So that one's over there on the street. I'm going to just code for that and then force another call out. This time it is right there down the street. Code for that. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead and force it so it's right in front of me here. Uh, that one's also all the way down there. So it's completely random of where the thing happens because obviously it's all at different tests and things there's one right here so our three locations have worked successfully and you can see they have spawned at all three locations whenever you're doing that so hopefully this did help you figure out how you can make multiple locations with coordinates and stuff i have lots of videos coming soon on 5pd with the 1.2 update releasing very uh, or i don't know exactly when it will release but i got a little bit of an early version with the 5pd insider program so lots of videos coming soon on how to install 1.2 and how to get it working and all that good stuff so thank you so much for watching my name is noodles and i will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye, everyone.